Okay, so today it's going to be uh, Letitia James, New York Attorney General, gives Trump a break on that appeal situation. That's what it's going to be. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So yeah, this looks like um, you know things are going his way. The Trump attorneys asked for this thing to slow down, and Tish James says, "Oh, okay, yeah, we can take a little more time. That's fine." So what's that all about? So we're going to throw cards on that. So um, and we want to know how that goes for Donald Trump and his organization. Okay, so Letitia James, what is this speeding up the uh, investigation about? Gonna find a good place for this box uh, eventually. Okay, what is that all about? Uh, New York Attorney General speeds up Trump's deposition appeal. How does that go for Donald Trump and the organization? Full Celtic Cross. Yeah. So, first part's gonna be why uh, why is she speeding it up? What's that about? And uh, that's what Trump wanted. So can that can that possibly be good, or is he that stupid that he wouldn't see the benefit to the state of speeding it up? Who knows? So that'll be the first part of the Celtic Cross, six cards, and then the last four will be um, um, uh, <laughs> how does that go for Trump organization? But first, let's do just a moment of meditation. There we go. Okay, so Letitia James, Attorney General, speeding up that um, up deposition regarding the appeal or the appeal regarding the depositions. I guess that's what it is. Speeding up that appeal process. Um, six cards for that. One, two, three, four, five, and six. What's with that? Interesting. Pins and needles. Okay, so the second part card. Um, Letitia James. Why are you about this appeal speeding up? Okay, so the Ace of Cups. Okay, so um, if you're Letitia James, you certainly want to have an Ace up your sleeve. And uh, this Ace is an Ace. So this is. Um, Feelings. This is something that's important to someone. So is this giving them a little something to maybe knock them off a guard? The uh, challenge to that, that's not particularly valuable, perhaps in the long run, the challenge to that is the hanged man. Oh my goodness. So uh, is is he going to be a hanged man from, from her sly move? Uh, or uh, does this in fact say again that you have to look at this from another position? You have to look at it another way. And it's interesting that this uh, mom is hanging out not only the underwear to dry, but also the dad. So interesting. The past of this uh, bottom of this reading, then the base of the whole thing is this Ace of Pentacles. There's a huge amount of value in the way this is being. Uh, manipulated, uh, and I think that means for uh, the uh, the state. The uh, past uh, this reading is this King of Swords. Well, this is kind of interesting. So we had um, it makes me think of Donald Trump. It shouldn't uh, Swords of Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law? But we can see that this king is just using that sword f to cook his food on. You know, it doesn't have any um, uh, noble meaning for him. You know, we don't see a diamond encrusted. No, he's got his, his he's, he's going to eat it up. Whatever the truth, justice, rules of law is, that's his uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So that's the past of this. And I think the past of this is Donald Trump. And then the sky of this reading is temperance. Well, it's always temperance. Isn't it? I mean, finding that balance to getting just the right ingredients. And look what the ingredients are here. They're justice. They're instant anger. There's joy and um, sorrow. So temperance, finding just the right mix. Yeah. I think that's what's going on. And then the likely outcome of the first part of this then for Letitia James and this appeal situation is the Two of Cups. Okay. I think it's a case of keep your friends close and your enemies even closer. 
Okay. Now, how is this going to work out for Trump Organization? That's the big, the big one. Four cards. How is this going to work out for Trump Organization? Okay. Just four. First card signifier of that question is this page of pentacles. Um, the page and this looks very dangerous here. The page is the very weakest of the, the court cards, and uh, the page will be bringing a message to the court. He'll be bringing an idea to the court for the court to consider. But look at this kid. He's I mean, it looks like all these plates are going to get dropped. So the signifier of that question, how's it going to go for Trump organization? This doesn't look too good. The environment that that's in, then, is a six of swords. Um, six of swords. Swords of truth, justice, uh, rules, and law. And you know what? Uh, the six of swords escapes me, and I'm not too shy to uh, jar uh, my memory. Um, oh, yeah, uh, moving out of troubled water. That's interesting. So the Six of Swords, so the um, self of that question about how it's going to affect Trump Corporation is I think Trump Corporation shows up this page of value, but just really being very, uh, the least uh, effective of the, of the Royal Suite and just very careless with that value. <coughs> but he's in the Royal Suite, isn't he? And um, moving out of troubled water with this truth, justice, rules, and law. So this Six of Swords is actually, look at that, waving at us with a frying pan in her hand and just stepping on top of all, walking all over truth, justice, rules, and law to get out. Wow, that's interesting. The hopes and the fears uh, with the Hierophant. This is the government. The, that's the hopes and the fears. The government has our hopes and his fears. And then the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing is the Empress. You know, I have to say, this is the United States uh, recipe for success. This is a uh, uh, it's early on in the major arcana. It's only number two, but it's just the most fruitful, the most um, uh, joyful, the most uh, mother nature like uh, abundance uh, that you'd want to have on your side. So I'm going to say, since it fell after the Hierophant card, that that's the United States. Uh, good luck in that case. OK, so. That's what we have. Who knew? Letitia James. Maybe she knew. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so this is the Housewives Tarot, a domestic divination kit with deck and instruction book by Paul Keppel and Jude Buffum. And this is put out by Quirk uh, uh, Press, I guess it's called. So this is so neat. It's reminiscent of a recipe box, and it's it's really sturdy, solid, thick cardboard. And it's got so many cool illustrations on the outside. It was only about sixteen dollars, and um, and then it's even got here uh, guaranteed by the housewife occultists of America. Just really neat. Okay, so if we go inside. The first thing you're going to notice is that it's set up just like a recipe box. The first little card here, you'll see it says uh, the Housewife Tarot. And then on the back of this, it just tells you about the publisher and the uh, copyrights and that sort of thing. But the second card is labeled as the Major Arcana. Okay. And then the back of it is an actual real recipe. I mean, I've read the recipe. You can make this. This one's called the Icebox um, fortune cake. And I won't read the recipe, but I'll just tell you this cool uh, little thing says is for use with the Neapolitan spread. The spread is referring to, I think, four or six uh, ways to divine the card, to spread the cards out. So this is for use with the Neapolitan spread. And it says here, eat this cake quickly before your past, present, and future start melting together. Really, you know, just cute. Uh, the first section here had the major arcana in here separately. Of course, I've mixed up the cards and, and shuffled them, so it's not that anymore, but I put that little group there so you can see what it looked like. The second um, card here is the uh, minor arcana uh, card, recipe card. Again, another recipe that you can actually prepare. This is like deviled eggs, but they've called it here divinated eggs instead of deviled eggs. And it says for use with the dinette spread. So like a dinette table. And it says you'll never go back to deviled eggs once you've had them divinated. Really cool and a decent recipe. The third um, card, which I've got out of, uh, and then the, of course the uh, pip cards, the minor, minor arcana with it. The third card, which was actually uh, here, uh, it talks about the instruction booklet. And I'll pull it out and it says, yep, instruction booklet. And then on the back, another recipe. And this is his Madame Marlena's Mystical Martini. It's for use with the martini spread, which is another spread they recommend. And also it's an, an actual, actual recipe you could prepare. The booklet itself is amazing. It's a really good quality 
of booklet, okay? It's got full color and really great, uh, interesting divinations for the cards. But the first part is what's so cool. The first page here tells you one, two, three, four, five different spreads that you could uh, lay the cards out in, they suggest, they've developed. And then this, I'll just tell you this first little paragraph and then the last sentence, because this is, just gives you an idea of how uh, quirky and how interesting this thing is written. It says right here, regarding the mystical housewife's tarot, the legend, uh, according to gossip, the housewife's tarot was introduced by housewife extraordinaire Marlene Louise Weatherby in the early 1950s. She was a happy homemaker who seemed to have it all, a devoted husband, obedient children, a sparkling home that was the talk of the town, a fashion sense to die for, and for more than her fair share of, and more, far more than her fair share of women's intuition very cool and then just the last sentence is so neat it says here just how exactly did marlene acquire these mis this mystical knowledge whether whenever pressed she kept her lips sealed tighter than tupperware marlene took her secret to the grave bless her heart and the origin of the housewife's tarot shall remain shrouded in mystery forevermore just really really very thoughtful everything about this so if you can't tell i'm loving the deck so that's the box. The cards, uh, actually, they're a decent weight of cards, okay? They're not too slick. And uh, this kind of looks like a tablecloth, doesn't it? And then, uh, let me lay them out for you. The, the are different, um, the Major Arcana and then the Minor uh, Pip cards have their own kind of color-coded uh, sequencing here. Major Arcanas are circled in black. The uh, cups are in blue and uh, green for the pentacles, etc. and so forth. And they're very colorful. They're easy to divine. The only thing I would say is that this Empress, for instance, is the number two of the Major Arcana. And in typical Rider Waite system, number two is the High Priestess. And if I'm not mistaken, the High Priestess in this was actually labeled as a number three, which would be the Empress. So that doesn't quite uh, me meld with the uh, Rider Waite system, but they're easy enough to divine because they tell you right here what this card is supposed to be. You know, I lay the cards out like this so that you get a chance to see more than just the few that come out when we do a reading. And um, to also give you an example of, you know, if you're doing a reading for someone, they can do this too and uh, lay the cards out and you kind of get their energy in you know, if you don't particularly want them to shuffle them, which I don't particularly like people to shuffle my cards because I kind of shuffle them uh, not in a, um, you know, not in a, a rough manner. So here we have it, the Housewives Tarot. Really great. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.